morning, everyone. I'm very happy that I'm here to speak about one of the important things. Um, at first, I want to ask for understanding that English is not my mother language. <laughs> I hope you will understand me um, very well. Some words about me before I start with the uh, theme. I'm 39 years old, was born in Syria, and with seven years, my parents take me with my brothers and my sisters to come to Germany. I study uh, business. 70 years, I worked in a large corporation as a sales and business consultant. And since uh, 1st February 2020, I'm self-employed as a sales and business consulting. Now we come to the theme. Attracting and retaining employees in multi-generational companies. I think it's one of the important things to be with humans, to win employees and I want to inspire you today. I want to inspire you how you can be a magnet for these uh, people, for these good employees because we have a problem with the demographic change. I will speak about it a little bit and we must uh, um, yeah, um, think about this um, theme, it's very, very important. I have three points for you. At first, the long-term success in the company. This is my experience, what I have in these 70 years as a business consulting. A little bit about sales and marketing. Why sales and marketing? The employees are the best marketing for your um, company. This is because I speak a little bit about it and how you become then a magnet for the professionals and top executives and the leaders. The long-term success in the company. What is this in my um, experience? I work with these three pillars for success. The first pillar is the personality of the owner and the competence of the employee. It starts with this. And you are all that you have the company, our personalities. This is very, very important for the success of your company. The second pillar for the success is the product, the goods that you have, the design, the appearance of the company to the outside world. Also, the online marketing and the homepage, the website that you have, and use the social media. This is also part of the outside world. And the third pillar is the business performance indicators. Without numbers, you can't, can't be successful. Sales and marketing. What is the, the important thing for sales and marketing? And first, you must believe in your own products. If you don't have identification with your products, it's difficult to be good in sales and marketing. Important focus on people needs. It's always about people. Purpose of the product and service is very important. And learn how do I sell myself and how do I sell my product service. This is one of the important things we need always uh, sell. Now, the question to you, what is the most important thing when you meet a person for the first time? What you are thinking? What is the important thing? Think a little bit about it. What is the first impression? And you see here two uh, women and a man. I think they are kind, they are friendly, they are looking clean. And this is also important for your company. It's like we are humans, what we are looking for, and also we look for this also in the companies. It's the external impact and radiance, it's cleanless, if I entry, the, the building, it's friendly, it's appealing, and very important, also professional. It must be look very professional. Everyone knows this company, Bosch, big company, and you see it's clean, it's clear, and looks very professional. One of the biggest companies also with uh, machines and technical parts, Apple, everyone knows Apple. I think 50% here sitting have an iPhone. And you see the light, you see the stores, 
you see how it's how the professional looks like and imagine if the new iPhone comes out the people sleep one day before in front of the store that they want the the, um, the new iPhone and this is sales and marketing also the company here is very very nice it's big I don't find the Mr. Axel at first, but we call the phone and then we find each other. Also a um, very professional, um, big company. But not everyone from you have a big company like Apple or Heidelberger, Druckmaschine AG. Also you can have a small company and it looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like professional, it looks like clean, it looks like that someone wants to go inside. Also take it in your company. So what is also important for sales and marketing is the competence and identification of employees. Do not underestimate the marketing power of the employees, please. Don't forget this. They are speaking always about your company with his friends, with if they are in dinner, always they are speaking about it and don't don't underestimate it. They are very, very important. So now I come to the third and important point. Um, how you become a magnet for the specialists and the top executives. First I want to start to say why is this so difficult? Why is this thing so important now? And everyone knows that we have the demographic change. For 60 years we had the baby boomers and in three to five years, the most of them they are going to pension. We have now the problem that we don't find good employees and top leaders, but I will tell you in three to five years, it's going not so good and more difficult to find these people. It's because um, we must think about it how we can be good and top for these uh, people. This is a statistic for, from Germany, but I know it's also in Europe, something like this. So, also what is difficult to find the right employees is the change in values of the young generation for declining importance of work. The digitization, Corona is, I hope, finished, or the hardest time is finished, but it comes uh, push about the digitization. Also we have the remote working and increasing mobility and the growing willingness to leave home from the younger people. They are flexible and they are, um, can be everywhere and work everywhere. That makes it so difficult to find the right employees. And I say it again, um, I can say it ten times, this is very important that it's the capital of your company, your employees. You must see it as an important. Uh, capital. The machines are also important, also in this in this company. But don't forget, we need always the humans and the employees. First, you must recognize the professionals and invest in them. Everyone from you, if you think about your good employees and about the professionals, you know who is the best in your company, who is the the big professional. You know if you think about it. And then create a good atmosphere in your company for these people. Maybe it's a family atmosphere. This is the high end that you can create. It's not everything lovely in the family. Always it's a small fight, but uh, families stay together. Now how you can recognize the good special specialists in your company? Everyone knows who is good in your company, but how you can recognize them? To think about it. They are always, the most of the time, they are shining, they are happy, they want to go to work, they like to go to work. Why? Because they have identification with the company, they have identification with you as an owner, they have also, they are happy with this workers, with employees together. These are the the good professionals and the good top leaders, they like to go to the company. And you will find them, they are always shining in the light in the, in the company. And also important is um, 
how you can become a magnet for specialists and top executives. It's we have to go away from the certain norms for the skilled workers, like tattooed people. <laughs> a lot of them say, "Oh no, I don't want tattooed. It's not nice." No, I have also one tattoo. It's not. It's 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 normal at this time. Also, the young people have this, and if you see this picture, it can be looks very nice also. Or we had hairstyle. Someone comes and have a weird hairstyle with other with other colors. It's okay, it's not a problem. And some of you are smiling, and I think they're thinking about the, the, the employees in the company. That's not the problem. And also, strangely dressed. Someone comes, he's a top professional, and say, "Hey, what have you for pants or clothes?" Okay, it's not the it's not the one of the important thing. If he makes his job good, and he is. A uh, good worker, give them this thing, it's not a problem. Of course we must look if he speaks with clients always and the clients have other dress, then it's a little bit difficult, but this is not a problem normally. Also, it's very important that we have give the chance to migration people. Look, to me, I'm from Syria, I was born there and now um, I'm here to speak to you. This is very important that we give them the chance. The important thing is that you learn the, la the language as fast as you can. And important is the will and the skills that they have. You must always look if they will to uh, work. And also that they want to learn every day. That they want to learn fast. And the important thing is the language at first. You don't have a chance to say, I take only German. It's Faster, and we are, we are. Uh, it's, it's. They, 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 I don't need much, so much time to spend in him. We need everyone, because the customers, the clients, can be like your employees and develop sympathy for them. You must always think about this. That they are happy if they see people from other countries, Belgium, Netherlands, France. Both things, the wills and skills are crucial. You can use the trial period. And important, meet the people openly, patiently, and very, very important, with empathy. You don't know what they have for problems at home, what they have for traumas, from the, from the, the if they are refugees, something like this. You need the patient and also the empathy. It's very, very important to win them for your company. And don't look for a well-designed application or resume. The ability of the applicant is crucial. For 10 years we was looking at how it's written, it's professional, it looks good, the picture must be professional. I think we don't have the, 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 the time of, the, it's not the time to, to look to, for everything because we don't have the young people. Now I want to, to speak about uh, a little bit about the job advertisement. What is important, how you can create a job advertisement. It's important that your job advertisement and the requirement profile comes across as attractive and beautiful. You have in the newspapers these things, online, you can find everything. It's a lot of um, informations that you have everywhere. And also the young people, they are always on social media and everything is fast. You must find something that is an eye-catcher. Be an eye-catcher for these potentials. That they, if they are in, in Facebook or something like this, that they stop and see your company. Make something different. Wir brauchen dich, we need you. And try something new. Yes, use proven emotional images and no neutral images. It's not must boring for these people. It should trigger a good emotion, very, very important in the applicant. And the picture is worth a thousand words. It has to sweet you and correspond to the truth. It's important that it is the truth for you and also for your company. Yes, the, 
that generation Y and Z, also the millennials, are this younger generation. And it's important to wear casual clothes and not to come across as too stuffy. But of course, the dress code must also suit you, uh, sweet your company. Stay true to the truth here and stay true to yourself and the corporate culture. You must always understand that this younger generation yeah, don't not be uh, it is sweet, sweet only. It's important for the job advertisement. Also, if you make the job advertisement, of course, the front side is also important. Nobody will read a font that is too small. Then the rather and first. It's important that it's an eye catcher. And um, make it easy for applicants to apply. Don't make it complicated. Take it in the, in the social media and say you can apply very easy. And please use the online marketing and social media platforms. I think all of you have this um, social media in the company. If you don't have it, use it um, and you can find um, a lot of young people there. And also you can have the good job advertisement there. And if you have and use uh, the social media platforms, make online marketing, invest money to make um, marketing for it. It's very, very important because you can say I will on, ha have only um, marketing in Heidelberg or in Wiesloch. You can be very um, correctly and, and, um, and make marketing very special in the, in, 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 with, with the online marketing. And um, I find the statistic, it's 14 to 49 age group have 95% have a smartphone. Imagine this. 95, it's 100%, I think. And everyone used this, and this is important for you to make marketing about the social media. And if you don't like it and you have not an identification with it, find a, a worker, employee that like to work with them. And over 80% use social media. 95% from the younger generation have a smartphone and 90% use social media. Yes, social media can be used for the image of the company. That's one of the important things. Always you can say what you are doing, you make good things. It's good for the brand, good for you, good for the image. Present and make pictures about the image, not about the price, it's about the image, one of the important things. And don't look for well-designed application or resume. The ability of the applicant is crucial. Conduct an interview with potential applicants before the rejection is written. Take the time and speak with them. You will find maybe one that you can use elsewhere. Don't say, oh, the picture is not nice, I don't need him. You must spend time in them and then speak with them. If you, if you see they have the will and have the, the, the competence, you must say, I will start with you. You can work with him one, two, three months and you will see if he's good or not. It's important not only to applicant has to sell and offer himself, but also you as his company should convince. Yes, and if the, if the um, uh, employees comes to you for work, it's so important that you have an onboarding process for new hires. It's very, very important that you spend time for them. Who is the contact person, and the person who is responsible for them? Don't say, oh, they are coming, they are working for me, they can make, uh, they become mon the money and then they can work. I don't need time with them, now they are here. But this time is finished, we must take time and have an onboarding process for them. The first two, three weeks, it's very important. Where and with what kind of work does he start, these people? See and appreciate the work. It's one of the important things we for, forget this, to appreciate the work. They don't need so much. It's not only the money that they want. 
praise and appreciate it. It's very, very important. Now I want to speak about you, about this young generation, the millennials, generation Y and Z, what they need, what is for them important. That they want freedom. The coronavirus with the uh, digital world, they have the freedom. They can work from home, they can come to the company, and this is good for them. They don't have problems with this, with them. And they want something to move. Have something that you can move for them in the company, that you can, they can uh, create in your company. Show them something. They want joy and purpose at work. What is the purpose from your company? And for them is work not the first priority. Why is this so? Why is this generation so different? It's the benefit from the wealth of the parents and grandparents. They have not yet recognized the need and importance of working. Often you don't have to. Grandparents, mothers, also you are, also fathers and mothers, who was working, you have the money, and the children see it, they have money, they have a car, we have food, we can go to, to holiday. For me as young people, it's not important, then I can search the best job, and I will search the company who is good to me, that gives me a purpose, that gives me, um, that I can do something that I like. And if you are not good, not good to me, I go. I will find and search um, everywhere a new job because I'm flexible. This is the thinking of the of the younger generation. And how you can be a magnet for these people if you don't have a vision, please write it down and have a vision. What is the vision of your company? need this also for your next generation. Say we want to be the number one. For example, in 10 years we want to be the market leader in our branch or within a radius of 100 kilometers. It must be very big, it must be the first in the world or something like this. But for your company, what is big goal, big vision? Because this is very uh, important, serves as motivation and inspire uh, for the employees. It's because you need uh, this vision. A lot of people say, no, I don't want this vision, it's not important for me. It's not for you, it's for these top um, executives and the employees. Think about it, what is the vision? And set clear values and live them in the company. What is our, the values? First have a vision and then the values. Keep pointing out the purpose and vision and talking about it. Not outside. You don't must speak outside about it. From inner circle it's important. From inside you and also to the employees. And give the employees the new trust. It's one of the important things. I have a little bit of examples, examples for you. What you can do for the employees in your company. These things. Um, are all, always used in companies. First, invest in further in education and training. Everyone wants um, the education and good training in the, in the companies. You can give companies cars for the top, top executives, e-bike, employee-founded pension, Christmas parties. It costs so much, but you have an atmosphere in the team. Offer massage for employees during working hours. Also have a good software and hardware that they can work very good and well. Personal assistance credit, if they have problems, maybe you can help them. And have a discount on all products if you can do this for your uh, employees. Important thing, clean rooms. You must feel good if you sit in the, in the office. Also above average salary. Supplementary dental insurance, the kindergarten subsidy, and then survey with the employees. Personal meetings, very important. Have personal meetings one, two times in a year. That you can speak with them, you can win the trust with them, you, you can hear what they have for problems. It 
it's a half hour or hour in a year or a half year, then you can hear a lot of things. And if you don't have the time, <coughs> give the time to your leaders, to the top executives, that they say you must have the time with them. Only if you speak and listening to the people, you will find out what they have for problems and then you can help them. Profit sharing in the company. Have a fitness center if you can, free, for, uh, free of charge. Not in the company, maybe you can have a cooperation with a uh, fitness center near your company. Be flexible working hours. Barbecue and summer parties. It's one evening and you can have also good atmosphere with them. And maybe you can have a free water and coffee for them. They must pay for these things. Important is not all at once, but gradually, because uh, a human and an employee is never satisfied. If you give them something and then they wait in a year for the other things, you must find always something new that you can give them. Okay, something for marketing. It was here near Frankfurt. It means Lust auf eine vier Tage Woche und mehr Zeit für deine Familie. That means you want to work only four days, then you can spend more time for your family. It's a, it's a company with bath and heating. And this is very good uh, marketing, I think. And invest in your employees, satisfaction creates a good company culture and you have a very good marketing for your company. It's because you must spend that they feel good it's not always that they can feel good, it's work. Work can be not always uh, good and fine. Also, we have sometimes bad days, but you must give them the feeling it's nice to come to the company. Important thing, have a good break room and cafeteria if you are big enough for the cafeteria. Make something with love and special details like a machine and you can sit here, eat something and then you must work. It's not important that you have a good break room, no. It's nice to see this atmosphere here with the plants, how you sit, with the colors, the good air and also the cafeteria that is modern, lightful, it's very important. Also one with one, it's warm nice details that you like to go to eat there, to sit there. And the, most of the time you speak about work. Let them stay in the, in, the, in the break room to speak also about private problems. They can come become friends in the company. And have a good food for them. Bought fresh food that they are have healthy food and they are not sick then. It's also for you very important. And the higher part-time instead of full-time. Most of us think, oh, we don't need 20 hours. Uh, people who work, you don't have a chance. You must have, uh, work with uh, higher part-time instead of full-time. There are a lot of um, mothers that they would go back and work. And they are very motivated. And uh, and I know they are working faster and better than one who have a full-time job. And in decision-making, it's always about everyone. Speak with your leaders, with your good employees. Having a say, this shows appreciation to employees and makes you feel part of the company. Always listening to and incorporating ideas as a result, there are many improvements. Yes, I say it, now I say it again. Try to create a good team with a family atmosphere. You will find it if you always appreciate it, you have time for them, you speak with them, and if you don't have the time as an owner, um, you should look that the leaders have the time for this employees. and how you can win these specialists and employees. Go to schools and advertise your profession. Inspire young people at an early age. It's very, very important. And 
will be always very uh, important to educate, to educate, and educate. Give the employees opportunities to grow up in the company and they will stay for a long time. If they know they can grow up in the company, this is for young people very important. If you show them, hey, you can make this, this, and this, if you stay with me, they will stay 10, 20, 30 years. And if they go after 15 years, you can say, I have everything in my company. I have done everything for them. And it's not your result if they are going. Show the opportunities for advancement in your company. And above all, that they are not the number in your company. Very important. But are perceived as valuable people. Because we are always at the owner in numbers. We must look that we make profits. Also, we have the machines that help us. But please give them the feeling we are humans. And all people. Lower your expectations as an entrepreneur and owner. They are still employees and not self-employed. The owner thinks always different. And the owner works 10, 12, 14 hours in a day. And don't think that the employees must work like, like a top leader or a, a owner. Please don't forget this. When is the use of machines important? When is the human important? The technology, like Heidelberger and Druckerei, can help compensate for the shortage of skilled workers. Also the, the digitization. But I think it's not bad that Corona was coming and the digitization was growing up. It will help us in these three, five years, because we don't have the worker. Now I have some questions for you. If you take the answer, we will find if the company is good for good employees and top specialists. What makes you and your company something special for, my, for the employees and managers? Ask yourself. It is possible to claim home office in your company? Are there exciting, special and challenging tasks in my company that only my company have? Do my employees retire or do I sort them out beforehand? Because the people speak about it. It's not only about money and we become all older one time and we are not so fast. And what makes my company lovable? The work value. Ask yourself. Because the employees make great value for the company success. Especially in a company that works with machines. It is all the time important to give humanity the highest priority. Make your business attractive as a popular restaurant in the city. People speak about the restaurant, say it's a very nice restaurant, you must go there. I like to work there, the money is very good, the atmosphere is very good. You should understand people because your customers are people. Your employees are people and humans. And also you are all people. And because business is created by people, we don't, must forget this. It's one of the important things. And now I will come to the end. I will close with the three pillars of success. First was the personality of the owner and the competence of the employees. The second pillar, the product, goods, design, appearance of the company and the outside world. And the third pillar is the business performance indicators. It's important that you always invest in these three pillars, please. With money, but also with your time. Time in the, the third pillar. Now I'm in the end. If you um, find good inspiration and you find the, the, the um, speech good, I'm very thankful if you make have me a good um, Google review. And um, thank you very much for your um, time that you listen to me. Also, you can follow me in um, social media. 
And if I can help you, you can find me at um, morishana.com and we can speak how you can be a magnet in the next years for the for the um, for the employees and top leaders. And at the end, I want to thank to Mrs. Petra Klingeis, one of the important uh, women here, Mrs. Julie Rosbach for the technical part. Thank you very much, Mr. Benjamin Wilke also for the technical part, and uh, Frank Karl that opened the door that I can speak here, and Mr. Axel Zöller. Vielen Dank. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I still remember, and I know some of you saw that, that we had a couple of years ago, four or five years ago, we had a, a, a young employee from Heidelberg, and, and he said, well, I'm expecting a gourmet breakfast every morning when I come to work. The direction of us, we were all laughing. It was a big, can't be that. I think today we are at a stage that we know it's nothing to, to love about. It's something where we need tons of ideas in order to cope with that situation. We learned last week, Christopher learned that there is a company, a supplier to the industry who now offers, the employee can decide how many vacation he wants to take. It's not whatever, 25, 30 days, 20 days, they can decide by themselves. The outcome is that they're actually taking less vacation. Um, it's higher cost, whether there's good, whatever, but these are the kind of things uh, people think about. Or you had it also on here, the, the gym. They build up a complete gym inside, yeah? and, and everybody is free to, during the workday, to go to the gym, exercise, get fit, and then continue to work. So all these kind of things, and, and, and thank you very much, Boris. Are there any questions? I mean, that is uh, a tough one right now. Crowd. Is there anybody willing to, to have a very first question? So can you, what is the, the, the central, uh, the cornerstone message you can give us? It's, it gave us. What is the important message? The important message is I was in a seminar in the weekend and uh, the, the, the seminar leader told to me the heart frequency is 5,000 times higher than your thoughts. Imagine this. The heart frequency is 5,000 times higher. And the important thing is to be a panic. You fill with them. And they will fill with you and they will stay with you. And you don't must speak so much if you are in this frequency with them. I think this is one of the important things. If you always remember, and you work, you work all with machines, that you have this, that you have this knowledge. I think this is one of the important things. Yeah. So be human and transport that you are human. Yes. Yeah? yes. We are surrounded by top technology all day. That is, of course, the cornerstone of that event. But we are all humans, and that is what's important when we talk to our fellow co-workers or as managers to our co-workers. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Any more, any questions at this point in time? Then I say thank you very much, Boris. Thank you, Axel. And uh, see you on Friday. Friday on German. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye.